Welcome to Engineering Knowledge. Today we will discuss phase lock loop based FM demodulator. It has a loop filter having uh, transfer function HS and a voltage control oscillator at the feedback of the loop and uh, output is fed back to voltage control oscillator through voltage control oscillator to input and uh, in incoming FM wave uh, which are to be demodulated are to be fed with this uh, output uh, feedback output and it should be multiplied with it and the out multiplying output is of the multiplier fed back to input filter loop filter again and it is an equivalent diagram which shows it is in phasor form that is phase instantaneous phase of fm is theta it and uh, the phase of the phase output of the voltage control oscillator is theta naught t and the difference between both the phases are theta et which is first multiplied with sine of the function and then passed to the loop filter having hs loop again and then theta naught is the output of the system out of the phase lock loop filter it is in equivalent equivalent demonstration of this using phase apart now incoming fm wave is fm wave is a sine omega ct plus theta it where theta it the instant in space which is being varied in accordance with the modulating signal as per the definition of fm and instantaneous frequency of vco voltage control oscillator is that is carrier frequency plus some change phase c e not t and then change in phase is depending upon the output that is output of pln e not t with some constant c now output of vco is given as b v b cos omega ct plus theta not t where omega ct is the frequency of uh, uh, free running VCO, free running voltage control oscillator and theta naught is some phase deviation and that phase deviation is dependent upon that E naught error, E naught T that is theta naught T is equal to C E naught T that is the phase of VCO output. Now this term that is output of phase, output of VCO and um, FM wave will be multiplied at the multiplier and the multiplier output will be a b sin omega ct plus theta i that is fm wave into cos omega ct plus theta naught here we are omitted the t you can write the t uh, it is uh, varying with t obviously now uh, multiplying in form using the trigonometric identity we have a b by 2 sin theta i minus theta naught plus sin 2 omega ct plus theta i plus theta naught and then this higher frequency term that is having 2 omega ct will be suppressed by the loop filter having the low pass filter this loop filter has the characteristics of low pass filter so this term will be high frequency term will be suppressed and the low frequency term will be passed on and the output of loop filter will be this term multiplied with the transfer function of loop filter that is output of loop filter is e naught t that is ht transfer function of loop filter in time domain and convolution of this term a b by 2 sin theta i minus theta naught or theta i t minus theta naught t okay further using the convolution formula e naught t is equal to a b by 2 0 to t h t minus x sin theta i minus x plus theta naught x dx that is convolution formula now let us assume theta i t minus theta naught t is equal to theta e t that is phase error in that is instant in this phase of FM wave and instant in this phase of VCO voltage control, controlled oscillator wave. Suppose uh, now uh, we know that theta naught equal to C E naught T from the last uh, formula that is derived here, assumed here theta naught T is equal to C E naught T. So theta naught T is equal to putting the value of E naught T here and we have the expression and putting the value of this as equal to theta E T the derivation uh, expression of theta naught t becomes this one theta naught t is the output of the vco output phase of the vco this is the output phase of the vco and which depends upon the phase error which depends upon the phase error if phase error is equal to zero suppose if phase error is equal to zero then theta i equal to theta naught by this formula so theta i t is equal to theta naught t so as you know from the FM theory that instant in this phase is dependent upon modulating signal theta i t is equal to kf integration minus infinite to t m alpha d alpha where m t is the modulating signal so it is by definition of FM now by the case that theta is equal to 0 when phase error is 0 
theta naught become theta i t, theta naught become theta i t, this is theta i t as it is. Now further integrating this term, we get the kf mt that is theta naught t output phase of the VCO now depends directly on the modulating signal. Now the PLL output, phase lock loop output is E naught t as we know that phase lock output is E naught t. E naught t is equal to theta naught t upon c by this formula. So E naught t is equal to theta naught t by c and it becomes kf upon c into mt. So finally output of phase lock loop is the modulating signal with some constant. But the condition is that when phase error becomes zero, then the output of modulating signal is phased, um, phase lock loop is modulating signal. Now operation of operation mode of voltage control oscillator is in being three steps. First is free running at the start of the circuit. It is a free running uh, VCO at frequency carrier frequency. Now after some, some, some time it becomes in cat capture mode after some loops actually after some some of the feedback loops it is in capture mode that is now VCO voltage control oscillator frequency starts changing changing towards the FM frequency. Now locking locking third step is the locking when zero phase error achieved by VCO and this case at this case this circuit is locked and the output when locking is achieved this circuit is locked and the output of this circuit is the basically modulating signal. So this is basically very uh, um, practically popular because of low cost and very high performance circuit uh, and used as a FM demodulator. Thank you very much for watching.